Hello, this is an important tutorial as there's been a change made to Video Everywhere, which is a built-in tool into Blackboard that allows you to do video recording, as well as the ability to directly record right into YouTube, which actually used to be the plan B whenever Video Everywhere went down. Well, it's down again as of Sunday, the 13th of December, and I'm not sure that because of this change in the technical requirements and how YouTube will be talking to Blackboard, I'm not sure that there is going to be a solution. Fortunately, YouTube has uh, released a couple of ideas for solutions. I've tried one of them with a Mac and an Apple uh, product device, and as well as the uh, iOS, the Apple phone and it has worked flawlessly so this recording is going to be related to the Apple products and I will do another recording to show you how to do this on a Windows machine. It used to be that you would go into really anything you could go into announcements, seminar folders, or any discussion board. I'm just going to go into a discussion board now and create a thread. And then you used to go right here and this little kind of webcam icon used to allow you to click here. You would sign into your YouTube account with the same login that you have with Baker College. And you give it a, a subject title and then your video would record right in here. Okay, and you'll see from the webcam recorder, it still looks like it's going to do it. If you've done any of this before, once you record, you're going to show up right here. The volume is going to show up on the right-hand side. Once you get done recording and pause recording, in about 10 seconds, an upload button should produce itself right here and click on it, and it directly sends it to your YouTube account. That is no longer happening, even though on the YouTube support site, they say this change, this elimination of this tool is not supposed to happen until January 16th of 2016. I found it down yesterday, which was December 13th, 2015. So we're not able to do that. So the plan B used to be you would go right here to YouTube and go over here to upload. <clears throat> and you're going to change your privacy. You're probably not going to want anything for class listed as public, which is the default, and you list it as un unlisted. So let me expand out my screen here okay normally right where it says webcam capture you hit record and you get the screen ready to court and uh, as you can see here webcam uploads will no longer be available after january 16 2016 learn more so if you click on this learn more there's an article that gives you a couple of options for how to do it on a mac how to do it on a windows machine as well as give you some instruction if you want to try to do it on an iOS device or an Android device. Again, I'm going to show you the Apple way to do it because, again, this will not work. You can start recording. It will actually record what you need to do, but you will not get the upload button. So this uh, feature is down as of now. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to minimize the Blackboard window for right now. And I have placed my dock because I want you to see that. I have placed my dock over here on the left-hand side. There is an app that comes with your Mac computer called Photo Booth. Now, depending on what version of operating system you have, it may not look exactly like this icon, but it is still going to be called Photo Booth. So when you click on Photo Booth, what it does is it opens up this window right here. And so this is a, a video window. It kind of takes your webcam that's already on your device, and Macs come with webcams automatically built in. And so it uh, puts you right, essentially right on the screen. So you can see me on the screen here. This image here is the straight-on photo. You can see I have a camera icon. If I click on this, it's going to go 3, 2, 1 and take my image like we see in these shots right here. If you go over here to the right, it looks like a little piece of film strip, and you know that this red dot here is now in film strip mode because you have this little movie camera icon. So once I start recording, it's going to count me down. Three, two, one. I am now live. If I need to stop this at any time, I'm just going to hit this button here, and you can see that 
it is counting. So it is live. Uh, everything that I'm doing is here. So obviously, if you were using this for video feedback, you could do what you normally were going to do. Uh, talk to the student about his or her performance during the week. If you were going to use it for a lecture situation, you could go ahead and do your lecture. As you can see, there's a little bit of you know movement. Or I could actually maybe do a little work on the whiteboard. You might be able to see it, understand now because of how you're looking at it, it's actually going to be backwards. So you might find that unless you're drawing circles or squares or something like that, probably not as effective as you would like it to be. So it's pretty much just a web capture tool. Screencast-O-Matic is a good tool if you want um, web and screen capture at the same time. So let's assume I'm done here, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Now you'll see that the video shows up right here. Now normally on a Mac, the control key gives you drop-down menus on any things you want, but you will see that this doesn't work here because what I have to do is I have to be able to get access to this export feature here. The only thing I can really do at this particular point is do delete. So that's not what I want to do, so I'm going to click off of that, and I'm actually going to close down Photo Booth. I'm going to shut it down, and I'm actually going to go up into Finder, and I'm going to go into my Applications. So here's my Applications window. And what the YouTube uh, help screen is going to talk about is you need to either use whatever web capture software application you already have on your machine, which is what I'm doing here with the Mac, or you have to download another one. Most of your modern computers, Windows and Macs, are going to have some type of webcam capture. Uh, if, if you have a Windows machine that's more than a couple of years old, it may not come built in with um, the, the webcam and the webcam application software. So you can get yourself uh, you know, a Logitech or you know, any of the other little cheap ones that uh, you can plug in with USB. This was something you had to do before. This is not necessarily relevant at all to this change with YouTube, is if you did not have a webcam but wanted to do webcam capture, you had to buy a plug-in camera, plug-and-play uh, USB webcam. So at this particular point, uh, I'm going to go into my application. And I'm going to see that I now have my <clears throat> icon here. And notice now that when I clicked on it, the export is no longer grayed out. And I have the ability then to export this video. It's actually playing right now in the background. I don't need it. All right, so I'm going to pause it. So again, I get to export it. When it opens up, it gives me the ability to give it a name, which depending on what you're doing, this can be helpful. You could have done this before in YouTube. You were not allowed to give it a name in the Blackboard tool video everywhere. It On my machine, it defaults to placing it into movies, which is fine by me, but also understand that I could have ahead of time created another folder on my drive and maybe called it something like Blackboard Feedback, Blackboard Lectures, whatever it is that I wanted to call it so that I could find it at this particular point. So I'm just going to call it Test 12-14-2015 and say Save. And I've now saved this machine. So at this particular point, I need to um, go into, well, let's use Chrome, I guess. <clears throat> I've already closed down that YouTube uh, account, so let me open up my YouTube account again. And if you've never done this before, if you watch some of my other YouTube videos, you will see that using a YouTube account, you have a free YouTube account that's part of your Blackboard configuration and your Blackboard credentials. If it said sign in right here, it has my picture because I'm already logged in, but if it did say sign in, this would be where you would use your user ID and uh, and your password, in other words, your Baker credentials, you would use that here to get into this particular spot. So at this time, I can click on Upload. Again, I'm probably going to want to change this to Unlisted, and then I'll click on this big arrow so that I can select the file that I need to upload. And then here is my test. I'm in my movies. If I default it to somewhere else, you know, applications and you know, what have you. I would just move to that particular folder, in my case, Movies, but it would be whatever you ended up calling it. Click on it, click on Open, and it is now going to load 
this video. It's going to upload first. Okay, it's going to upload first, and then it has to process, or what is called rendering. When it gets done doing that, this is the link that you will be able to use if you're going to upload a link. That's actually your, your video, even though it's not quite ready to upload yet. There's also ways to go in and grab the embed code. If you watch any of my other videos on uploading videos, you'll be able to see that. I'm not going to show it to you here, but uh, that's where we are. So at this particular point, I'm going to pause the video so that you don't have to watch this thing upload and, and uh, render itself, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, and we can see that the processing is now done. So we've uploaded and we've processed. And we have to click done to confirm, which I've done. We now have uh, our link. So you can actually use that link that I showed you earlier. There's your link for sharing. Or you can grab the embed code, which is what I prefer to do. So you're just going to do a control C or command C since we're talking about a Mac at this particular point. And then we're going to go back to our Blackboard thread here. And we're going to put video intro or whatever the name is of this. And then in this particular dialog box here, shrink that down. Rather than hitting the webcam icon here, as I've showed in previous videos, when you need to upload a video with embed code right into Blackboard, and again, I'm going into a discussion board thread. This could be an announcement in the seminars area. You can actually even load this to an assignment link if that's what was called for. You're going to click on this fourth icon over. It kind of looks like a little film strip. And when you hover over it, it says insert edit embedded media, which is what we're doing. So we're going to click here. All right, we have these three tabs, general, advanced, and source. We're going to use general and source. So at this particular point, the first thing I'm going to do, you can see that the white tab here, the others are grayed. The white tab here is general. I'm going to click on source. I'm going to click so that my cursor is blinking. I'm then going to do my Command V or Control V. Again, I'm on a Mac, so it's Command V. I'm going to put this stuff in there. That's the embed code. I don't have to do anything. Don't have to touch it. Come back and click on General. You'll see my video is already right here. I say Insert and Submit. And there we go. There's our video, just like we've done before. So basically, this is the procedure currently, as of the 14th of December, 2015, for how you now have to do a webcam recording on a Mac. Those of you interested in figuring out how this is done on a Windows machine, I will be making one of those recordings soon, so look for that. Thank you.